Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Learning is Blessing. I'm your techno guru Mukta Sareen who is going to tell you about different types of tangram activities that can be taken up in your classes. So let's get started without further ado. Now, what is tangrams? Let's understand that. The tangram is an operation puzzle consisting of seven flat polygons called tans, which are put together to form shapes. The main objective of making tangrams is to replicate a shape by giving only an outline in a puzzle book with the help of seven pieces without overlap. So here in the picture, you can see there are seven wooden pieces. It can be wooden, it can be paper, and it could be on a plastic. A tangram is a deceptively simple set of seven geometric shapes made up of five triangles, two small triangles, one medium triangle, and two large triangles, a square and a parallelogram. When the pieces are arranged together, they suggest an amazing variety of forms embodying many numerical and geometric concepts. So with this, we can learn a lot of different concepts. So let's know more about tangrams. Tangrams rules are just as simple. All the pieces must be connected. They must be flat. No pieces may overlap. Then the tans may also be rotated or flipped to form the shape. All seven tans must be used. Each completed puzzle must have seven tans altogether. So let's see what all can we create. See here, these are the different different uh, things and objects that can be created. A shoe can be Cinderella shoe, plane, a shirt, a Christmas tree, key, birthday candle, rocket, and even a house. So, so many things can be created using different pieces of the tangrams called as tans. Now, let's see more. So, a vase, a swan, mountain, fish, seal, chair. A lot of things. Yes, it's all up to your creativity, how you broaden your horizon to create things. Moving further, we can create a huge array of animals using these tangrams and students love making these. In the free time, in the activity time, it can be used along with the shapes task. So there are several topics in which we can use tangrams. Animals like swan, a rabbit, a monkey, cat, and a duck. Moving further, numbers. Yes, numbers can also be formed using tangrams. So you can look at it, how different, different numbers are being formed. And then we can make double digit numbers also by using two sets of tangrams. So tangrams can be used to display transport. Here you can see uh, a boat. Mm, this is a cart. This is an airplane. Next is a sailboat, a ship, helicopter, ferry, and a rocket. So a huge array of Transport can also be reflected using tangrams. Isn't it creative and full of fun? Yes. Now I'll take you to my thank you show. Thank you very much for being there with me. If you liked it, subscribe it and give it a thumbs up. Have a nice day ahead. Bye-bye.